Andrew McGann here with Severa Main. I'm standing alongside Boston's own Joe Lozon. Joe, first of all, first thing I noticed, that scar yeah. above your right eye. It was nasty in that fight. How, what was the healing process for that like? Uh, it looked like Frankenstein for a few days. And then uh, lots of Moderna, lots of vitamin E. Um, you know, I, I um, had to do a lot of Graston stuff. So basically Graston is they take like a metal tool and they basically scrape at all the scar tissue to break it all up and make it all nice and soft. And, you know, so a little bit of pain, but mostly, you know, mostly long-term good. And obviously you have the, you're known as the fight of the night or submission of the night, knockout of the night guy. Mm -hmm. These are the sacrifices you have to go through to get those bonuses. Yeah, you know, I try to be the submission of the night guy. I, I try not to be the knockout of the night. Uh, I try not to be the fight of the night guy. But sometimes it happens, you know, so I got to deal with it sometimes. And, uh, you know, unfortunately the last fight didn't go my way. I didn't have, I, I don't have the full say on how it goes down. So, uh, you know, just got to deal with it sometimes. I wouldn't call you a gatekeeper of a division. You're more like the uh, perennial contender because you're <laughs> always in and around. What do you take from losses? Because after getting, you put a great run together and then uh, you were caught uh, by Pettis. What do you take from that? What do you go back? Do you change anything in specific or do you just work harder? Um, you know, it, it's tough to work a lot harder, you know, but I, I try to, you know, work smarter. You know, I try to bring in more guys. A lot of times, like when I've had fights that didn't quite go the way I wanted, there's some kind of like hint that something like that was coming. Like, you know, I know like for the Pettis fight, I got kicked in the face. There was one time I got kicked one time in the head like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, just trying to be a little bit uh, more receptive and, and noticing those things a little bit more, uh, you know, but I always train hard. You know what I mean? I try to try to go back and, and, and figure out all the mistakes I made, whether it's a win or, lo uh, win or a loss. So it's just, you know, it's just always getting better. You're complimenting our sound, uh, yep. sound equipment there. You're also, uh, we'll say, you're a nerd. You consider yourself a nerd. Yep. When it comes to stuff like video blogs, uh, yep. everyone always compliments your video blogs. Why do you do it? Is it because you think it's fun or because you want to give something back to the fans? Uh, a little bit of both. I, I think, you know, we, we when I fought Pulver, we took, like, no pictures the entire week. You know, so it was, like, this big deal. You know, I knock out Pulver the whole thing. My first fight in the UFC, we had, like, nothing to show for it. So after that, I was like, you know, I want to do the video blogs, kind of for us, but also for the fans. You know what I mean? Like, I had no idea what it was going to be like fight week. I had no idea what to expect. And there's a lot of things that were really, really cool that we never would have known about. So I'm a fan first. So I like to kind of let everyone else in and kind of let them know what's going on. Let them see how awesome Bird is. Let them see what's going on with the UFC. Let them see how everything works out. And, uh, you know, and it's, I think the fans really appreciate it. You know, it's, it definitely doesn't hurt for sponsors and things like that. You know, just get your name out. So it's, it's, it's good all the way around. I've asked a couple of fighters. Um, they've beaten someone who was on a losing streak. And I ask, you may have cost them their job. Does that ever play into your head? Like you're fighting Michael, who is on a two-fight lose streak. A third may sign his release from the UFC. Someone who's been rewarded from the UFC with bonuses and bonuses. Does that play into your head that you could be denying someone a livelihood? He would do it to me. You know what I mean? Like everyone's here to win fights. You know, no one's out here, you know, throwing fights to, you know, let the other guy keep his job. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's 100% performance based. You have to go. You got to win. You got to be exciting. You know, and then I can't. If he can't win, I can't help him with that. Joe Lozon fights this Saturday UFC on Fox Sports 1. For those in Ireland, it is available on BT Sports through, through the Satanta package. And Joe, we have an Irishman himself who's looking for a couple of bonuses, so you may you may have to settle for one of them. <laughs> Little competition with a notorious one. Yeah, dude, if he gets it, it'd be awesome for him. You know, I like, always super impressed, always super exciting. Excellent. Joe, thanks very much for your time. Thank we really appreciate it. Thanks, Joe. thanks very much. Big.